The supply of Maryland blue crabs is finally meeting demand. The annual Blue Crab Advisory Report finds the Maryland blue crab population has increased by 60% over last year. Conrad's Crabs and Seafood in Towson is busier than a New York Stock Exchange broker. Crab lovers are filling the place. I like them a lot. We order them all the time, and my whole family, we eat them a lot. So I come here often, like a couple of times a month, and the great crabs are really great. I love it. The quality is good. Back in the spring, crabs became hard to find. Heavy rain and the near constant release of murky water from the Conowingo Dam push crabs south looking for a saltier and cleaner environment. They're just now starting to move back north. The springtime, it was, it was a little rough. Uh, there weren't a lot of crabs around. The water, water salinity levels were uh, almost near record lows in some places, but uh, a lot of the crabs are concentrated in Virginia. Um, they were having record catches in Virginia, while up here, almost nothing. The annual report determined the population of adult females are up by 29%, males up 38%, and the juvenile population is up 50%. Rebounding crabs will soon have an impact on prices. It will definitely, um, definitely get lower in the next week or two. Definitely. Not even a, not even a guess. It's a, it's a guarantee. So I'll be getting more because usually I only have them once or twice a year because of the cost. So now that's good to know. But watermen warn blue crabs have a new enemy. Blue catfish feed on crabs. They too were pushed south by low salinity. I guarantee you, it being a bottom feeder, if it gets a chance to eat a soft crab after crab shed or, or small hard crabs, it's going to go after them if it's hungry. <laughs> However, there are no signs blue crabs are being overfished by mankind or predators. The prices are definitely going to go down. The catches are going up. Um, it's going to be definitely a good fall time for consumers, businesses, so eat up. Here the report can be found on our website at WBALTV.com. No predictions on how much crab prices will go down, but one merchant says this fall he expects crabs to be bigger, plentiful, and cheaper. Reporting live along the Canton waterfront, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.